Hi, Amy of Fashion Toppings here with a little sewing video. Uh, now this is a quick and easy project. You might remember these shorts. I got these on my, um, like two thrift hauls ago from, I believe these were from the Salvation Army. But these are the ones that I had mentioned that had the lining on the inside. I told you I'd wear them once outside and if my ass started to sweat, this was gone. So I took out the lining and I said, well, that's not enough. I went through my closet, cleaned up my closet. I found out that I have like four pairs of white shorts, all different hemlines, but the four pairs of white shorts. And um, so I decided I'm gonna make this into a skirt. So we're gonna change the shorts into a skirt. First thing I did is I just took out the lining. So I just used my scissors and just cut all the way around the waistband on the lining side. So I was only cutting the lining. And so I removed the lining. Then I went ahead and did some prep work to get, you know, so this video wouldn't be too long. I went and did some prep work. I got um, my seam ripper out and I seam ripped the entire crotch out of the shorts. So what I did is from the hemline, I seam ripped all the way up to the zipper. As you can see, it's pretty obvious when I hold it apart. See, I seam ripped all the way up to the zipper and in the back, I seam ripped up. Let me show you why I seam ripped so high up. See the little shape of a J right here? Well, I've seen a lot of skirt redos where all they do is just flip them over each other and then you end up having this little weird seam line in the back and on the front. I don't like the looks of that. I mean, I do maybe for a denim skirt, but not for this white skirt. And so I actually seam ripped up farther because we're gonna make sure it's straight, make sure it looks like it was made that way, not that it was a DIY. So I went ahead and did the seam ripping. Next thing we need to do, this is so easy. So easy, I love saying that. So, so easy, get it? Okay, so turn it inside out. Okay, so I got it inside out. Now, fold it in half so that our crotches line up. The back crotch, or inseam, I guess that's a nicer way to say it. The inseam and the back seam are all lined up. See? Okay. So, gonna work on the front, the front inseam first. Hopefully you can see this, because as you know, I only have just my webcam. I don't have my camera working. Okay. So, I'm making sure it's nice and flat. Important part is making sure the side seam, the front and the back line up. Your bottom hem is exactly lined up because you don't want the skirt to look wonky or crooked. So take the time to make sure everything's straight. And I'm going to put a pin in it at the top of the inside seam and one at the bottom so it doesn't move. Okay, now that I pinned it at the uh, connecting points at the, the crotch or your inseam and the hemline, I'm going to also do it to the back of the skirt. See, here's our waistband. So at the back of the skirt, I'm going to put a pin here and a pin here so that everything is staying straight. Making sure my side seam down the middle matches up with the side seam underneath. Everything is nice and flat now. Okay, now I'm gonna take my ruler. Right below the zipper, here's my zipper. Right, this whole thing right here, this area right here is my zipper. Right below my zipper, I am gonna come straight down. And I'm going to pin the straight line. Okay, so I just pinned a straight line from my zipper straight down. So basically all I'm doing is eliminating this little J 
where your crotch used to be for the shorts, the inner, inner crotch. Okay, now it's time to do the back of the skirt. See, here is my, this is the hem of the leg. Here is where the crotch connected. And so we need to get rid of this, from the waistband, we need to get rid of this little swoop here. Right, see that right there? That little swoop. We want it to be nice and straight. So once again, I'm going to, and I'll hold it up and show it to you here in just a minute. Just gotta make sure everything's laying flat. That's the most important part, is making sure everything is laying flat. Now I'm leaving part of my waistband because this, this, this fits okay around the waist. So I'm just going to gradually slope from the nat, gradually slope from the natural side seam. I'm going to gradually slope and come in. So I'm cutting this part off. I'll show you. It'll make sense in just a minute. Now I'm getting to this little point on the crotch and just taking that off and just doing a gradual look at working my way down to the bottom hem and it'll make sense as soon as I hold it up and show it to you this one's too hard to do on a dress mannequin and get everything straight this is why I'm videoing in my kitchen today. It's gonna make it easier. I, did, <clears throat> I clamped it onto the board so you'll be able to see it a lot better. Okay, here is the inseam at your butt on the back side of my shorts. Here is the inseam to the front of my shorts. Here, I pinned it back, here is my zipper so that you can see where we're at. So all I did is, like right here, I gradually sloped I gradually, right from the side seam, see how I just gradually follow the side seam and sloped it all the way down to the hem. So this part, I'll be able to cut off and discard. Hopefully that makes sense. Now that we have our pins in, the next step is try it on. If you're able to try it on with the pins in, that's the best way to do it. Because then if you have to make adjustments, it's quick and easy. Take a pin out, put a pin in, or move your pin or whatever. Um, if you're not able to try it on with the pins, if it's too difficult, put a quick basting stitch in where your pin lines are and um, try it on and make adjustments from there. So once you've got it to fit the way you like, you've made your adjustments with your pins or your basting stitches, then it's time to take it to the sewing machine and just run. I'm going to do zigzag stitches because um, one, praying, and two, I want that extra strength, especially in my backside when I sit down. I don't want this thing coming open. Um, so I'm going to do a zigzag stitch up the pin lines or up my basting stitch whichever one you choose to do and make it more permanent and then I'll come back and show you how it turned out okay so I put my basting stitches in then I put my final stitches in but I wanted to show you real quick and I did a chalk line so I figured the pin line was really hard in case the pin line before wasn't very obvious see I did blue chalk so now you can definitely see the shape of, of the skirt so I'm gonna go and cut off all of my excess material Cutting off my excess material, and then I will go back and zigzag my edges when I am done. I had to adjust my basting stitch three times. So I have all these basting stitches on here just to get it right. Okay, so there. That's the material that would normally be between the legs of the skirt. Now I'm going to pin it. Okay, so we're working sideways and turn it inside right. Okay, there you go. They were shorts, but now they're a cute little skirt with a straight seam in the front and the straight seam right down the back. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on and take some pictures for you, and that was it. Okay, but well, there's my finished product. This was shorts, and now it is a skirt. I'll get a lot of use out of this. Well, I hope you liked this project. It was quick and easy. Shorts to a skirt. I just basically took out the inseam of the shorts and put in a new front seam and back seam and it was done. 
So, well, this is Amy with Fashion Tappings. Until next time, you have a great day.